night. And now, in rebuttal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the next speaker needs no introduction. He's been introducing himself all night. It was very kind of him to let me use the dais while he did the toastmasting. Toastmasting? Toastmasting? <laughs> Hosting. However, he is here, ladies and gentlemen, former Chicago lifeguard. <laughs> he had to give it up. He got harpooned too many times. <laughs> A mountain of mirth, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there he is sitting right here, and he brings to this dinner all the charm of an old-fashioned gang war. <laughs> Jackie Leonard. Take it easy, Leaving opponents of Senator Jaffert. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah. Very, very clever. <laughs> I want to tell you, Jack, you're really swell. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. I think that all the people ought to get together now and leave the room. <laughs> you're really swell, Jack. You've certainly developed a nice comedy style, mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. See all you nice people. I've attended about a thousand testimonials, and this is one of them. <laughs> I want to say right now, Senator Javits, I enjoyed your speech very, very much. Your text was beautiful. I think I have a great future, but not in your particular line of business. <laughs> But seriously, as, as the show has been the past half hour, <laughs> I enjoyed your speech. I mean that. And it's an honor and a privilege to meet a man who in times like these come right out and admits he's a Republican. <laughs> Even though it'll ruin him politically. <laughs> But I will say this, Senator. <laughs> I can't, I can't. No, no, boy. <laughs> you are doing a great uh, job. You are doing a great job for the state. And as soon as I find out what state you're doing it for, uh, <laughs> give us a call, please. <laughs> and the Honorable Mr. Flynn, I want you to know that I didn't enjoy your speech either. <laughs> My very dear friend, Joey Bishop, who I've admired for a long, long time. A real great up-and-coming comedian. I had a lot to do with his career. I tried to stop it. <laughs> and Julia Mead, too bad things didn't work out for you, but after all, you would even look beautiful in the dark room. <laughs> and I'd like to meet you there later. Thank you. <laughs> Wayne and Schuster, foreigners. <laughs> Boys, really going places, and I hope it's the Yukon. <laughs> really very funny, and I'll see you personally, and Senator Javits will see that you don't get the second papers, and thank you. <laughs> now, Mr. Sullivan, I wish you wouldn't cough on my speech, please. <laughs> Throw a few germs over the map. <laughs> You know how I feel about you, and I'll guarantee you'll be there before me. Thank you. <laughs> it's always a pleasure <laughs> to see Abby Lane and Xavier Cogat, the mom and pop kettle of Cuba. <laughs> uh, Mr. Walter Cronkite, I must say your performance here tonight it's like the news you've been giving us lately, very bad. <laughs> Rocky Graziano, I had a lot of fun kidding with you because you're really an old friend. Lost a few bucks on you a long time ago. <laughs> but after all, cauliflower is a very expensive thing. <laughs> Great author of the bestseller, somebody up there likes me, and after his speech tonight, I'm sure he'll change his mind. Thank you. <laughs> A few unkind words about Ed Sullivan. Ed, everybody's been up here kidding you about your personality. I can't understand it. After all, it's pretty hard to talk about something that isn't there. 
because we have seen more personnel in a hot water bottle. Thank you very so much. <laughs> Mars us all in the spirit and watch yourself at all times. Thank you. <laughs> but I will say this, Ed, with all in sincerity. <laughs> I've known you a long time, that's true, and I've been on your show 20 times. Someday, you're going to come up with a little money and surprise everybody along the way. <laughs> but you will. You will be on television a long time, because the amount of talent you have will certainly never wear out, I'll tell you that later. <laughs> and so, before this very lovely bankrupt slowly sinks into bankruptcy, I want to say right now, and I mean this sincerely, Ed, I leave you with two of the most beautiful words in the American language. Walla Winchell. <laughs> so long, Ed. See you at the funeral. <laughs> and now to add a touch of levity to the evening.